My name is Bill Giat. Welcome to this presentation on um, serious accident case study. And uh, we'll be investigating and giving you some preventative measures that should have been put in place that weren't in this particular study that we will uh, be discussing. All right, let's start with some facts about the case. On April 18th, 2011, um, the Hill Corp Corporation encountered a fatality on one of its rigs um, at approximately 3.30 in the morning. Uh, there, the rig was at West Cameron Block 643. Uh, the fatality that happened, the uh, fatal worker worked was contracted out by um, Alliance Oil Field Services to the uh, Hill Corp rig. Uh, the job that was being performed was the uh, plug and abandonment of the well. And uh, the tools that were used on the job were a power swivel skid and casing jack. All right, some more facts about the case. We're going to keep flowing with the facts about the case, and then, like I said, later on, we'll give you some preventative measures that should have been put in place that were not that can, you know, save somebody's life next go-round in, in the same situation or similar situation. Okay, so the power swivel was taken off by crane at the top of the well. So, you know, they were they were lifting it up from the, from the well itself. <clears throat> now, here's where the first problem started. The worker that was from the Alliance Oil Field um, Company was... Um, a rust about and he stepped into the uh, role as a rigger so he was not a rigger before so that you know first of all he didn't get the proper training on you know to become a um, a rigger and uh, so first of all that was you know he, he didn't attend the JSA meeting uh, so I think I think those are a few you know the underlying problems there uh, the Rostabout was in close proximity to all of the action, so he was, you know, right there, right then and there. He was right by the the lift gate of where they were lifting the crane from the um, the well. Uh, he slipped and fell into a hole by that was exposed by the removal of the power swivel on the main deck of the platform. All right. So let's go with some more facts about it. Um, the tagline moved along with the movement of the power swivel in the hole. So once the taglines were right, right there, right on the actual um, power swivel, they were right. You know, there were actually three uh, three inches. I believe. Let me check on that. There were uh, three. Yeah, three. Foot long, there were three feet long um, tag lines, which was should they, you know it should have been a lot longer. We'll, we'll get more into that a little bit later, but um, the movement caused the rust about to fall into the hole made by the removal of the power swivel. Let's see, uh, he fell 30 feet to his death. Uh, safety precautions were not in place. JSA meetings were not adequately prepared to you know. To discuss the problems, what could happen if there was the hole when you know the uh, the movement of the power swivel will happen. So they, they didn't properly talk about all that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and then like I talked about, the uh, three foot long uh, tag lines were in close proximity to the power swivel itself, and uh, the workers were nearby. So I mean, basically, and then I then the uh, in the case study, it said that the uh, worker tried to manually pull the uh, tag line. So once he manually was pulling those, I, I guess he just, you know, he fell some kind of way and fell into the hole and, you know, and died. Uh, the safety professionals are not warned about the safety hazards. Uh, now, now here's the big, to me, this is the biggest knock on the whole um, issue here. It was nighttime, okay? So... First, first and foremost, there should have been adequate, you know, lighting. There should have been, you know, mandatory lighting that should have been there. Should have been, you know, catching all these uh, particular, um, you know, signs or red flags. So uh, okay. So then uh, some of the pictures. 
you know, we can go through some of these, uh, these pictures of the actual, you know, accident and, yeah, I can see the hole in different, um, different areas. As you can see on the uh, first picture here, this is the uh, barricaded uh, way uh, for the hole right after the uh, vent, actually the next day. As you can see, the hole is pretty massive and on the uh, side of the hole, on the uh, right side of the hole is the uh, power swivel on the side. I guess, you know, they stopped work after the guy died um, on that. So let's go to the next picture. The next picture, as you can see, this is uh, an intro, or this is a picture from the 30-foot uh, um, hole, or the 30, 30 feet below. This is kind of a, a window looking in uh, on the bottom deck. Of course, the uh, event happened on the top deck. So this is just, and it just goes to show you how massive the hole was as well. Um, and then the final picture here, um, it shows the uh, tag lines, and as you can see, the tag lines are in close proximity to the actual hole, and um, which, as we talked about, they were only three feet long, so they were not very long. Um, and then, of course, the rust about he was trying to move the power swivel along manually uh, with the tag lines, so he, you know. He was going and, you know, he missed a step and stumbled into the hole and unfortunately he died as a result. All right, so what are your thoughts? You know, uh, what are your thoughts on this issue? We, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of things that uh, we can take away from this, this particular uh, incident. Now, uh, my adult learning theory for this particular um, case study is androgyny. Uh, learn by way of experiences. So, uh, you know, if there should have been a GSA meeting, first of all. There should have been somebody talked about past, you know, things that happened like this. Things, you know, that could have been prevented. So this wouldn't have happened. Uh, the most pertinent information needs to be discussed at the beginning of the training module. I mean, it, you know, the hole, the big hole was the whole issue. You know, I mean, if the hole was protected. You had, you know, the tag lines were further away from where, you know, they, were, they weren't so close in proximity to, you know, the workers. They, they should have been longer. I mean, there's a few, there's, you know, a multitude of things that could have been uh, changed up and, you know, could have prevented this from happening. Um, so, uh, you need to have protection for the holes, basically. That's, you know, the biggest, biggest thing I would say for sure. Um, As we can see, I, uh, we took off the lights, and uh, how many people are able to see without the lights on very well? Yeah, you, you can't physically see everything that you know could possibly be in your way, so that's another thing. Um, always provide each worker with um, the JSA training before each task occurs. Communication is the most vital part of the training. Always have fall protection, and the final thing, tag line should be in place in appropriate and safe areas around the power swivel. So just make sure to keep those in mind. Those are, you know, a few things that can save your life, hopefully next time you're in a meeting and uh, in this darkness, huh? <laughs> All right, I'm Bogey. I thank you very much for this presentation. Uh, hopefully you learned something and enjoyed some, some of this. I'll talk to you next time.